Hello class, uh, in this video I am working the application problem on page 3 of your uh, section 4.3 note packet on the law of cosines. And just reading through the problem, uh, you're given that the height of a radial tower is 500 feet and the ground on one side of the tower slopes upward at an angle of 10 degrees. So I've redrawn the graphic from your notes, right? This rectangle here represents the radial tower and it's 500 feet, right? This rectangle is 500 feet tall. And then the ground uh, to the right of the radial tower, it slopes upward at a 10 degree angle. And we're asked uh, how long would this uh, guy wire here, this dashed red line, uh, how long would the guy wire have to be if it was attached to the top of the tower and 100 feet from the base of the tower on this uh, upward sloped earth, okay? Well, if you look closely, we have a triangle here formed by the tower, the sloped earth with the 10 degree angle, and the guy wire, which I have redrawn here. And so this side of the triangle, right, it's 500 feet long, right, rep represented by the tower. And then the guy wire has to be 100 feet from the base of the tower, right? So this side of the triangle is 100 feet. And we basically gotta figure out what the length of what I'm calling side A over here. Side A of the triangle is the guy wire in our um, picture up here. Well, the horizontal of the earth and the tower form a 90 degree angle and the earth, uh, the slope of the earth with the horizontal is 10 degrees and so the earth and the tower, the angle between the earth and the tower has to be 80 degrees. Okay. In order for the tower and the horizontal to form a 90 degree angle the angle between the tower and the slope of the earth has to be 80 degrees, right? So the 80 degrees plus 10 degrees is 90 degrees. So we got, uh, from the law of cosines, let's call it a side angle side problem, okay? We know um, side angle side, right? We know the length of two sides of this triangle, and we know the size of the angle between the two sides. So we can use the law of cosines to calculate the length of this side of the triangle, which is the length of the guy wire. So plugging in for little b, little c, and capital A in this equation from the law of cosines, we have a squared is equal to 500 squared plus 100 squared minus 2 times 500 times 100 times the cosine of 80 degrees. And now evaluating the right hand side, we got to follow the order of operations, right? So we got to follow PEMDAS. So exponents come first. 500 squared is equal to 250,000. 100 squared is 10,000. And then do the multiplication. 2 times 500 times 100 is 100,000. And then we got to multiply that 100,000 by the cosine of 80 degrees, which you use in your calculator is 0.173648. One seven eight. It's a lot of decimal places, right? Nine decimal places. You don't actually have to write this down. You just carry out the multiplication in your calculator. And so we have a squared is equal to, right? You got to multiply these two numbers here, and then add them to these two numbers. You know, two fifty plus ten thousand is two hundred sixty thousand. And then minus one hundred thousand times this number in parentheses is minus 17,364.8178. Okay. 
I'm carrying my calculations out to a lot of decimal places because I want accuracy. Okay, and then I'll round off at at the very end. Well, two hundred sixty thousand minus seventeen thousand three hundred sixty four point eight one seven eight is equal to 242,635.1822. And now, A, right, to find the value of A, I just take the square root of both sides, and that value of A is the length of this guy wire up here. So when I take the square root of both sides, I get A is equal to 492.6. Now I'm rounding off. 492.6 feet. Okay. The length of the guy wires in feet because the height of the tower and the distance from the base of the tower to where the guy wire is connected to the earth is in feet. And so we found out how long that guy wire has to be, okay, from the top of the tower um, to 100 feet from the base of the tower connected to the earth using the law of cosines. Okay. In B, yep, it says how long should a second guy wire be if it is if it is connected to the middle of the tower and be secured at a point 100 feet from the base on the flat side. So, here we're talking on the left-hand side of the tower. The guy wire is going to be connected halfway up the tower, right? And then 100 feet from the base of the tower. Well, that also forms a triangle, right? The tower and the horizontal of the earth and the guy wire forms a triangle. In this case, it's a 90 degree, it's a right triangle. This side is 100 feet. This is the right angle. And the guy wire goes halfway up the tower, right? And half of 500 feet is 250 feet. And so the guy, length of the guy wire on this side is the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So all we got to do is figure out the length of the hypotenuse. So you know by the Pythagorean theorem, right, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, right? So this is side A, right? This is side B. So we plug in for A and B, and we have C squared is equal to 100 squared plus 250 squared. Well, 100 squared plus 250 squared is 72,500. Let me take the square root of both sides. You get C is equal to 269.3 feet. So the length of the guy wire, right, on the left side of the radial tower, right, it's connected halfway up the tower and 100 feet from the base. The length of that guy wire is 269.3 feet. Okay. So we found the length of the guy wire on the right side using the law of cosines and the length of the guy wire on the left side just using a straightforward right triangle trigonometry, the Pythagorean theorem.